Hey there, Nicole McGuirk with a video on how to use Carrie Bradford's GSD files with your silhouette. So here I am on Carrie's blog and I went to the freebies and I'm just going to scroll down until I find the one that I want to download. She has a bunch of free designs and then a bunch of digital kits for purchase as well. And then you'll go here and you'll follow the steps. I've already downloaded this, so I would need to log into my Google account and, and download it and save it to a place on my computer, which I save them to my desktop, easy to find, then I move them to a file. In my RoboCraft software, I'm gonna click File and click Thumbnail Browser. And it's already set up to come to the, the file I want, but if it wasn't, you just click your file, like I click de desktop, and then I scroll down to digital die cut, digital die cuts, and pictures of all of your die cuts are in there. I've got carries, I've got a few from two peas, things like that. So eventually I'll probably um, sort them out a little bit better so that I don't have to scroll through so many, but right now it's still pretty manageable. So I found the one I wanted, the negative frame, and I opened it up in my Craft Robo software. And I'm just going to turn it for this sample. I'll have to rotate it back for cutting, but I like to kind of put all of my die cuts I'm using together on one screen so that I can make sure that everything is sized right. So I hit ungroup up there, and I'm going to remove some of the elements, the U and the little period there, and then regroup it. Click that button again. I'm just customizing it to work for me. Then I click right-clicked and click the position settings and changed it to 10 inches wide. You want to make sure you have hold aspect ratio so that it doesn't distort. Then I went and opened up one of the, modern, one of the uh, trees from the Modern Nature collection and I'm going to just copy and paste it right into this same window and then I'll just kind of click and drag the corner until that fits with my design. So there it is. You can see there's the tree with the leaves and then the kind of naked tree. I'm not too worried about it right now. I can ungroup them here in a little bit. And then I went to my library and clicked a design from the Silhouette store that I purchased. This is one from Lonnie Stevens and it's Cherish Every Minute. And that's what I'm going to use for my title. So I'm kind of mix and matching um, lots of different die cut, digital die cut elements for my layout. And I'm also ungrouping this. Then I'm going to click and drag each word on its own and group each word individually by itself so that I can move them and manipulate the size and placement of each individual word. So you can kind of see how it's coming together to look like how my layout is. This is almost always how I go about doing any layouts that I do with uh, digital die cuts. I like to kind of plan it all out to make sure that it's going to work with this, the space that I have. So I'm going to click and drag and grab Cherish there. Oh, maybe. Having a little trouble with my mouse. There, I got it. I'll click Group. Resize that. That's a little too big. And I'll just click and drag it over here. And I wasn't real specific in my size for the title and the tree. I just wanted them to fit within the space of my frame. So then I would move everything out of the way and I'll cut each piece individually from different colors of paper. And we're going to go straight to putting the layout together and it's going to go pretty fast here. You can see the frame. Added a little adhesive and I'm just picking up my little photos that are 4x4 four four photos behind there. And I've die cut some paper strips and, and some blocks of pattern paper from the American Crafts City Park collection. I like the, the fun bright colors and of course that cloud background I loved. And I tucked a little tag underneath from Creative Cafe 
It's just an older piece that I have that I really like. And I'm just building the, the layout from the back to the front. This is how I add all these layers. I have some really thin strips. Oh, this is how I did my title. You can see it through the background. I cut that piece out of my sticker sheet, made sure it lined up, removed the sticker, made sure it lined up over the printed journaling on my plain paper, and then put the sticker back and ran it through again. So that's how I lined those, those up for journaling. Adding the, the trees and the title, I use spray adhesive from Krylon for all of that. It just makes it much easier to add any kind of delicate pieces or things with, that might tear easily with regular adhesive. And I'm just tying this little tag on to my tree with some jelly bean soup, baker's twine. That's a much older tag from Making Memories. I still have tons of those. I still love them. Then I punched some little hearts from one of the American Crafts papers using a Stampin' Up! punch and then I'm sewing some Stampin' Up! clear buttons right on top of those and I'm adding about four of those to my layout. So there you can see it with the buttons all sewn on. And then I have some little mini clips from Tim Holtz. I always think those are a fun touch. They look like they're holding those tiny 2x3 photos on. Tiny attacher. And then to make my notches, I'm just marking the center of where I want that notch to, to be with my pencil. Then I'm taking the Making Memories uh, notch tool and I'm just going to place that there, tap it with my hammer, place the other one, tap it with my hammer, and then slide my paper underneath. How I decide whether I want to use the Making Memories notch tool or the uh, Stampin' Up! slip punch is basically the slip punch does not go very far in on the paper. So if I need a notch kind of further towards the center of a page, then I'll use the Making Memories tool. There's really, that's my only determining factor there, I guess. The punch is a little bit easier to use, so when I can, I usually use it. Using the Paper Piercer by Tim Holtz and adding some little gemstone brads. For more information on this layout, please visit my blog at www.nicolemagork.typepad.com. Thanks for watching.